Welcome back to Get a Clue. Uh, get a clue for something new. And today we're going to look at another game. And this one has been out for about five years. Came out in 2016. And it's a big, much bigger box. So I have to kind of move to the side. And it's called King Domino. Now, the name will tell you a hint about it. But I want to point out a couple things about King Domino before we actually get clued in. First of all, uh, it came out in 2016, but in 2017, actually, I can show you that. We have a nice little award there, the Spiel de Jahres Award in 2017. Spiel de Jahres is German for Game of the Year. And the Spiel de Jahres is a big deal when it comes to uh, games. The, you win that award, your game is most likely going to be heard and noticed in the average game world. Um, they're not. They don't use. They're not usually a difficult game. It's usually a family-friendly game. Um, I can't remember. But it's been going on since 1979, the Game of the Year, Spiel des Jahres, um, in Germany, of course. Uh, the first one, I can't remember, it was in 1979, but 1980, you might recognize the winner. Um, the winner was Rummy Cube. So that was the second year that there was a Spiel des Jahres, and Rummy Cube is the one that won it in 1980. Just so that, you know, you, that might be a game that you recognize, that you've heard of. And there are some more recent ones that we'll be looking at um, in other Get A Clues. But I wanted to point out that King Domino won it in 2017. Now, going back to uh, our C-L-U-E, let's get a clue about King Domino. First of all, the C. C stands for Components. What do you get in that box? What is in that box when you buy King Domino? Well, you're going, oh, I, I forgot to pull these out. Okay. Um, you're going to get several little things. First, each player, it, it's uh, two to four players, by the way. Each player will receive, will get one of these little starting squares in their color. Uh, they're red, yellow, blue, and green are the colors. And then each person will get a one, two of these little meeples, which is what we call it. They're little meeples um, shaped like a king because you are going to be creating a kingdom. And to be able to create that kingdom, first you start off with a starting block. And um, mine comes with the cute little put together, actually that's the wrong color. Let me go with the yellow and we put the little yellow castle on the yellow, or we could put it that way, the yellow castle. And that's the beginning of your kingdom. So you need those components. Um, of course, at the end, you're gonna to wanna to score. So this is the score sheet for the game, King Domino. Mine uh, came with this cute little tower, which actually opens up, I don't, let me hold that, opens up and you can store these tiles in here. Now, the name might give you a clue, but we're going to look at this in a minute when we get to U for uniqueness. But mine comes with this little tower that stands up and then you just pull out these tiles from the bottom. Not all of the board games come, all the boxes come with this. I think this was a special edition. Um, but it will come with a, a tray where you pull them out. So, you know, one way or the other, you're going to get all these tiles and the starter tiles and the meeples. And I believe they all come with little uh, castles for your, the center. And, of course, the score sheet and the instructions. So that is the components. That's what's inside this box. That's what you're going to find inside the box. So L for length, um, really it takes approximately a half hour to play the game. 
So length of play is approximately a half hour. I'm looking to see if the box tells me because I forgot to check before I started this. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, there you are. They say 15 minutes. Um, maybe if two people are playing, but with four people, it's going to take more than 15 minutes to play the game. But 30 minutes should be fine. I mean, it's not a long game, it, and you're constantly doing stuff, so it, it, the time goes fast, goes by fast. Um, I saw something else back here that I was curious. Oh, yes. Oh, it tells me that the instructions are in three languages. So there's English, Spanish, and French in the rule book. And so, oh yeah, there's French and there's Spanish. Okay, yeah, English, Spanish, and French. That's the components. That's the length of play, about a half hour. Uh, 15 minutes if you get really good at it and fast. And then we get to you for uniqueness. Well, the name of the game gives you a clue. King Domino. King Domino. And remember those tiles that um, get come out of my little tower here? If you look at them, they are very similar to dominoes. They have that, that play way, yeah, that way of playing, um, but not with, with numbers, not with little pips but rather with uh, different kinds of terrain. Because what you're doing is you're creating your personal kingdom and you're trying to score the best points in your kingdom. Now I'm gonna take this next tile out. Okay, so let's say this was your first tile and then your next tile is this one. <clears throat> just like dominoes, it just needs to go where next to here or here or here or even like this as which is a little different from dominoes because as long as one side is touching a similar pattern it's it's a legal move and you're creating a kingdom and now I'm not again this these videos are not to teach you how to play it's just to give you an, an idea of what's involved with the game. And so if you know, know anything about dominoes, King Domino is just, just a, a little sidestep from it. Instead of matching up numbers, you are matching up terrain and you're creating a five by five um, square, five by five square, like this would be four. And then if you had your starting thing, there you go. That's as wide as your little kingdom can go. Five by five. And then it goes this way as well. So anyway, um, just like dominoes, you're just putting things together. Um, in fact, if you've played Mexican train dominoes, you'll understand the concept of everyone has their own line that they can use first. And, you know, so with King Domino, you're creating your own kingdom. You don't have to match anybody else's, just your own. Okay? So that is uniqueness. It, it plays with that domino effect. And then we get to the last letter, E for ease. Um, the truth is, it's because it's so similar to dominoes in that relationship, uh, and the instructions are are just that. Yeah, so it's four pages this size. So it's really not a, a complicated game to pick up. Um, it's not that hard to teach. And um, e yeah, so it's, it's easy to learn, it's easy to play and teach. Uh, is it easy to find? Yes, you can find it. You will find it online easily. You could possibly find it at uh, Target and 
Barnes and Noble, and I mentioned those because Target has started picking up um, some of the better known newer games. So you might find it at Target, um, and Barnes and Noble has expanded their game section and have a lot of the better known new games, as well as the older games, as well as some of the lesser known new games. I mean, they, they have really expanded their game section. So if you have a Barnes and Noble near you, you might wanna stop by. It might be a little less intimidating than going to your friendly, lo your, your local friendly game store, friendly local game store. F-L-G-C, yeah, S, yeah, F-L-G-E-S. Um, but you should find it at your game store as well. It, it's a well-known game. It's been around for five years, so easy to find. And, um, ooh, I did not look up the price. Let me go to that place that is online <laughs> and just uh, type it in. No, oh, sorry. They just come out with a new. They just came out with a new um, expansion to it. Um, sorry, I'm typing really poorly because I'm trying to talk at the same time. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. It's just under twenty dollars. So it's just under twenty dollars, which again is a it's a good price. The components are a good quality. I mean, they're not, they're gonna last a good, a lot of handling and you can play really well. Um, the meeples are adorable with the little king shaped. Now also, um, there, if once you know this game, King Domino, well, uh, there's also Queen Domino, which is a little bit more involved, a little bit more thinky, uh, but, just in this past month, in the la actually last week, <laughs> um, there's a new game uh, from the same people from Blue Orange. Uh, Blue Orange is the publisher um, called King Domino Origins. King Domino Origins, and they say that the play for that one is something in between King Domino and Queen Domino. In fact. King Domino Origins, um, let's see if I can, if it's here. Uh, I know it's, it, it's being sold. I'm looking without, okay, King Domino Origins. What's the price for that one right now? Or the availability? Okay, yeah. The, what, the online A store, a store um, does not have it it's that new it just came out um, so keep an eye out for King Domino Origins but in the meantime King Domino is a wonderful game it's a, a winner it's a game winner um, so see components great L length perfect U uniqueness it's so similar to what you know if you've ever played dominoes so uniqueness it's great to pick up and ease it's easy to learn it's easy you know it's a little bit more involved than the last two games that I talked about but it's it's not hard I, t I promise you it's not a difficult game to learn and it's easy to find and twenty dollars for all of this is not a bad price I mean, you can pay that for sorry these days. So uh, $20 is not bad at all. So I invite you to check out King Domino. You can find all kinds of videos about how to play it and reviews about it uh, because it's been around for five years. So good luck, have fun. Get a, Now that you've gotten a clue, you can get something new. Bye.